That's right. And uh, some people also change their desk, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so having a lot of desk space is great in general, so getting a bigger desk. But what some people do if they work a lot and if they develop any health issues and problems with pain, they will invest in a electric desk uh, or some people call it a standing desk so you might uh, have a desk with, that you can regulate its height and you can change it in, in the case of electric desk there will be an engine that moves your desk up or down and this way you can for instance uh, work for 30 minutes sitting and then you can in increase the height of your desk it goes up and you can work standing. This is great for your posture, for your body, because it allows you to change your position, and move your muscles, move your body, and uh, it's very good for your health and also good for your productivity, for your blood circulation and whatnot. You can find more videos that discuss that online. This can be a, a bit of an investment. It's certainly worth it. But even if you don't have the money now or the space to invest in a standing desk, uh, what you can do is to remember to actually take breaks and try not to sit without moving for long hours. That's right, um, and look away from the screen. And right? look, and look away. So um, try to develop a habit where you take a short break. This might be even one, two minute break. Maybe you just stand up from your laptop, from your computer and go make yourself some coffee <laughs> or go for some chocolate, why not? Uh, or just bring yourself some water or just go and talk to somebody you live with and do anything, look through the window. This way uh, you allow your muscles to relax, uh, it's very good for your spine, it's good for your eyes that can relax, maybe look at something in the distance. And of course when we have tight deadlines and a lot of work it's easy to forget about uh, taking breaks. But you can set up so automatic reminders. Yes, right? a tip that mm -hmm. we want to share is set up reminders either on your phone or uh, maybe have like a Pomodoro timer, uh, set up a timer for 30 minutes or one hour and try to make a short break and every half an hour or every hour to relax a little bit, to move, to, to stand up. This will not only be good for your health, this will also help your productivity because it will get your uh, blood moving faster uh, and will uh, help you focus uh, more and do more work. Uh, one more thing when it comes to our screens, uh, we talk about getting an external screen, getting a bigger screen. Uh, that's all very useful and important. One thing that you can change uh, quite easily and you can do now is uh, use a filter of blue light. So our screens naturally emit a blue light that uh, actually makes you stay awake. So when you work a lot in the evening, either with your laptop or with a tablet or with a phone, um, receiving a lot of this blue eye light will make it hard for you to fall asleep and so if you don't sleep you well yeah. it will be difficult to focus. So most uh, systems, most devices will have a blue light filter. There's also special software that you can download but nowadays most of the systems whether Apple or Android or Windows or Mac will have this feature built in. Uh, it might be called the night mode. Once you turn it on and you can set it up to turn on automatically at a certain hour, this will mean that your screen will try to limit the uh, blue light. This will uh, result in the fact that the colors on your screen will be a bit strange. Uh, uh, you will notice that things look differently, but this will also mean that there's, there's much less blue light coming at your eyes and you will see that you will be able to fall asleep uh, much more easily. Uh, and that's a feature that people usually fell in love with once they discover it. And having a lot of sleep and good quality sleep is very important for us in subtitling because ultimately productivity is not about how many hours you work but also how uh, well you can focus and how uh, good quality of your work you can produce. That's right, so these are our tips. If you have uh, any more tips, uh, let us know. We'll be very happy to hear about them, what works for you. Thank you.